A very pleasant good afternoon to each and every one. First of all, let me congratulate all the teams for a great Super 40 tournament. We had a good seven weeks. A good seven weeks of competition. Today, we witnessed a match between the PIC Blackhawks and the Pickett Squashers. And I must say, these two teams had a slow start to the competition. But as it goes in cricket, it is a game of glorious uncertainties, and it is not over until the fat lady sings. I didn't really sing today, but it's not over. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the directors of the ABCA and the director of Cricket West Indies, Mr. Jimmy Adams. Our presentation party for this afternoon consists of Mr. Enoch Lewis, President of the Leeward Islands Cricket Board, Mr. Leon Kumar Rodney, President of the Antiguan Barbuda Cricket Association, Mr. L. Kano Charles, Treasurer of the ABCA, and last but by no means least, our former Minister of Sports and President of the NOC, the Honorable E.P. Chet Green. At this time, we'll have a few brief remarks from some persons. The first one being our president, Mr. Leon Coomer Rodney. Thank you, Madam Chairperson, and our secretary of the Antigua and Barbuda Cricket Association. Very, very brief. I just want to thank all the teams for their participation in the Antigua and Barbuda Cricket Association S40 Tournament 2022. I think that all the teams should be given a serious round of applause. Thank you very much. I cannot forget the umpires. Give them a round of applause. The match referees, and to you who would have supported all the teams, your teams, and even to the semifinals and the finals, the third and fourth place, and today finals prove that if we continue to support local sports, and if you notice I said sports, because notwithstanding that cricket now becomes my major sport, we all must give focus to sports in Antigua and Barbuda. And having E.P. Chet Green, the president of the NOC here today, will tell you that sports are important to the nation. It's blessed to Pickets and to Liberta Blackhawks for winning the tournament 2022. May God bless us all. Thank you. We now call on Mr. Enoch Lewis, President of the Leeward Islands Cricket Board. It is my pleasure to be here this afternoon, not only to say a few words, but more so to witness the cricket. I am pleased that the Board of Directors of the local association, that is the ABSCA, is doing a fantastic job in ensuring that cricket is being played across the island. I think they deserve a round of applause. Let me also take time to say thank you in a big way to the sponsors of the team, the sponsor of the tournament, to the ground owners, the CCG ground owners, to Nelly, Crystal and Company for making the facility available. I want to also say congratulations to the Pickers team for coming this far. And I think they deserve a round of applause. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Pickets came up today against a team that has international bowlers in its mix. And so to compete against that should only make them better going forward. 
and I'm looking forward to the growth because I saw growth today in that they scored, yes, 150 against a team, like I said, including international and regional bowlers. So I think they did a wonderful job and deserve a second round of applause. But of course, I have to say congratulations to the champions. I think they were favorites coming in, and they played like favorites, and they won the tournament for yet another year. Congratulations in order to the Liberta Blackhawks. My thanks are not finished because I want to say thank you to the commentators, to the umpires, right? Uh, well, who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? But yes, to the, to the coaches, to the ground staff. And gentlemen, I want to say a special congrats to the ABCA again for playing this game at this facility. Let me tell you something, right? These players aspire to play at international level. And when it comes to finals, you, if you have international facilities available, that is exactly what they should play on. And so I want to congratulate the ABC on making that decision. Ladies and gentlemen, in wrapping up, I think you, the crowd, deserve a round of applause for supporting local cricket. And I say this because I have been to test match previously where one of these good gentlemen gets selected to West Indies and somebody is asking me, who, who, which, one of them, which one of them is Rakim Cornwall? Which, which one of them is Alzari Joseph? And I'm saying, but you should know that if you watch local cricket. So obviously, we need to continue with the local cricket and to encourage the support of local cricket. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for listening to me. Have a good evening. Thanks, th congrats again to the champ, and everybody have a good evening. So without further ado, I invite to the microphone the former Minister of Sports and President of the NOC, the Honorable E.P. Chet Green. Thank you. Madam Chair, I recognize the President of the ABCA, the Treasurer of the ABCA who is smiling today, and of course, our own President of the Liberian Square Association, Enoch Lewis. I'm confident that today is not a day for speeches, but a day to allow Liberta and Libertians to celebrate this momentous moment. You can all understand my elation today. Today is Liberta Day. And so to the second place team, I don't like the word losers. The second place team from Piggots, you came with a very big name of crushers, you leave here crushed. To the PIC Blackhawks, I say congratulations. You are maintaining a tradition, a rich tradition of the Liberta community of winning. And so congratulations in order to you, players, coaching staff, management staff, I'm sure the entire community is now waiting your arrival, and so I won't be long, except to say to the people of Liberta, let me hear you in the crowd, Libertians. Once, once again, once again we have proven our dominance in local cricket. Let me quickly commend the ABCA on this particular pro, um, competition. In COVID conditions, country covering, rebounding, cricket, which is like a religion in our country, is leading the path in recovery. The president of the League of Board made a comment which I identify with. That is that our players must be exposed to the use of our top-notch facilities whenever we have finals of cricket, and I dare say any other sport in this country. Unlike the president of ABCA's view that nothing much is done at the level of government, I want to remind him that the government of Antigua and Barbuda invested in this facility to make sure that cricket can be played internationally here in Antigua and Barbuda. So I want to congratulate Liberta once again. As the second red of straight, we are the winningest team in cricket in Antigua and Barbuda. And we'll continue to win under the watch of Kenneth Benjamin as our coach and a cadre of players to make our community proud. God bless Liberta. Long live Liberta. 
Let us keep on winning, Liberata.